안녕하세요. This is Busan Namja Won. I'm here to teach you Korean and Korean cultures. Learning Korean could be a hard time for you, but let me make it easy and fun. If you want to get my latest updated video, please subscribe to my channel, click the alarm button, and follow my Instagram and TikTok. Today, I will talk about things you should know before learning Korean. If you are planning on learning Korean, it will be characteristic Korean points you should know before learning Korean. Also, this information is helpful for those who are in the process of learning Korean. Let's dip into it. Number one. Korean verb comes at the end of sentence. In an English sentence, I have a lunch. Subject, verb, and object. In Korean, 나는 점심을 먹어요. Subject, object, and verb. Another example, I subscribe to Busan Namja channel. Subject, verb, object. In Korean, 나는 부산 남자를 구독해요. Subject, object, and verb. Number two, Korean have a grammar particles to identify the roles of words in a sentence, like objective particles and subjective particles. After subject, we add 는 이가 to identify this is subject in the sentence. Also, 을를 is placed after objects. Furthermore, you can make a different nuance by changing grammar particles in the sentence like 밥은 먹었어? 밥을 먹었어? In the first sentence, 밥은 먹었어? 밥, which means meal in Korean, is a subject in the sentence. That means, did you have a meal? In the second sentence, 밥 is an objective in the sentence, which means, did you already have a meal? That contains a little bit of surprise. Those little bit different nuance. Number three, the word order between statements and question is the same. The difference between them is the intonation at the end. To make question, you have to raise the intonation at the end. Like, 부산 남자 구독했어요? Instead of 부산 남자 구독했어요? Which is statements. You cast a little bit of difference intonation at the end. Number four, Korean language does not have gender. In some languages, they have feminine words and masculine words. Fortunately, we don't have those kind of rules. Number five, we do not distinguish between plural and singular. Sometimes a word with a plural particle, do, sounds weird, even though the noun is plural. Table and tables are Tiksang in Korean. Computer, computers, or computer in Korean. Let's say I have two purses in Korean. 나 지갑 두개 있어. Sounds more natural instead of 나 지갑 두개들 있어. 지갑 두개들 sounds weird. That's big no no. Number six, Koreans are often omit the subject, but that is a case where a listener and the reader knows the subject. For example, you're talking with your friends and you're asking, Did you have a lunch? 너밥 먹었어? And 밥 먹었어? Both make sense. Another example, What did you do yesterday? In Korean, 너 어제 뭐 했어? You can simply say 어제 뭐 했어? Number seven, this is the last one. Korean is a diverse language. We have a lot of grammar points and a lot of verb as well. In English, when you wear something, you simply just use wear. But for us, 옷을 입다. And for earrings, 귀걸이를 끼다 or 귀걸이를 하다 and when you wear glasses in Korean 안경을 쓰다 I think most of Korean learners have a hard time with learning Korean because of this Korean feature Alright! I hope those 7 Korean characters are informative for you before learning Korean. I'm not here to discourage you, so just keep trying. After you get used to those, you will be at ease when it comes to learning Korean. If you have any questions or something related to this video, please leave a comment. Or if you have any opinion and contents you want me to speak about, 
let me know too, I'm really curious. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram and TikTok. So see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye. 안녕히 계세요. Thank you.